Okay, so this is the final image of uh, what you're looking at here, which is a uh, just a sun image with the sun rays the triangles here perfectly aligned around the circle, um, and they actually the insides of this particular one, this particular triangle, is they match the uh, the roundness of of the circle on the inside. So let me move this out of the way and show you how to recreate this. Um, obviously you're going to start by using your ellipse tool. Uh, make a circle and then choose your star tool. And when you choose your tar star tool by holding shift you actually constrain it and I'm sure you already know this. Um, when you have this, poly this particular polygon tool you can actually use your up arrows and your down arrows to specify how many points you want on this. In this case we just want three. So here's our three and I'm going to copy and paste in place um, option C and F or control C and F on Windows. Flip this upside down. I will uh, align these and then have them distributed properly. properly. Now with the two triangles selected, you need to group them together and then go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform. On the Transform dialog box, we actually want to make three copies of this particular one and we're going to put them at a 45 degree angle and then if you hit the preview button right here, you can actually see exactly what it's going to look like. And you can actually go in here and kind of fudge this up a little bit and, you know, you know, put it at whatever angle you want, um, 90 degrees, which, you know, they overlap each other. Um, you know, if we wanted to do 20 degrees and then make 15 copies or, you know, whatever, you, you have your, your choices here. So um, that gets us the, the look that we're going for. From here, with the triangle still selected, we have to go to Object, Expand Appearance, and then that takes each um, triangle and makes it so we can, so they're editable now. Um, we need to ungroup because they're actually grouped all together, so we need to ungroup that, and then if you look, they're actually still grouped in twos, so we need to ungroup them again uh, for this next step. Now for this next step, I'm going to go into uh, the outline mode. I'm going to copy and paste in place my circle again and expand it so it's covering just the ends of the triangle. And I'm going to make eight copies of this. Um, so copy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to select the very top circle and the top triangle and click minus back. Nope, oh, forgot to do something here. All these circles here have to be the topmost layer. So now you can see over here that I have them selected. So you can actually do a couple different ways. You can select the two like this, or you select the top layer and the top triangle, and then you use minus back in the Pathfinder palette. Um, actually, for time's sake, I'm just going to do use the uh, use my layers palette here, so that way I don't have to be really precise about where I'm clicking. So, and actually, you know, from this point, you could actually do this first, um, and then go back and transform transform the triangles and, and get them where they need to be. Um, you know, six of one, it doesn't doesn't really matter. It's all, all your preference and what your workflow uh, really needs to be like. So now um, we have that. I'm just going to make this circle just a little bit bigger to fit and uh, come back to uh, preview mode. And there you go. Um, right there is exactly what you're looking for. And if you don't need this, you know, circle, here on the inside of the triangles, then obviously you can skip that step and and be just fine with it. So, um, hope I've been able to learn you something today.